I am like pretty much exclusively pumping. I went through a ton of infertility. Time really does heal all. Um, you can kind of see like each peak that you see is awakening like that. Don't think you're doing anything wrong. Are you trying to roll over? <gasps> Did you just roll over? I don't know if that was just a coincidence because I'm trying to just do like tummy time with him and I just quickly put this blanket down. I think he's 11, yeah, 11 weeks old this upcoming Saturday and it's currently Wednesday. I literally have no idea what day it is anymore. Um, I actually posted on my Instagram the other day. I'm like, oh, he's nine weeks old today. And then like, I got like an email from like a baby thing. It's like, oh, Sebastian's 10 weeks old. And I'm like, oops. <laughs> I don't remember Mila ever doing anything like that till she was like, I, I actually don't remember. <laughs> I wanna say four months. Then again, I feel like he's just like a lot bigger and stronger. I do practice a lot more stuff with him now that I just like know what you have to do. I wanna see if he's gonna do that again. Sebastian, was that not a mistake? You're just a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's getting so cute. <laughs> all right, I don't want to just do like my like weird mom voice baby talk, which I feel like all moms do that voice. <laughs> he's just like getting so cute now. Like he's getting past that newborn phase where like they're kind of just like a noodle all day long and he's like responding to like when I smile. Um he's like cooing a lot more or like doing the baby talk, but oh my god. I can't wait till like we hit like 4 months old. I remember that was like the turnaround time when like things got like a lot funner with Mila and then like once you hit like 6 months, 7 months and you start the solid foods and everything, it's just I personally feel like it just gets so much easier. The sleep gets so much better. So this is what um, I pumped out right before that previous feeding. I am like pretty much exclusively pumping. Um, I actually don't remember the last time I did like a boob feeding and at this point I'm like whatever. You know what? I just I have to get over it because at this point, I feel like I'm just forcing myself to just put them on the boob because it's like what I mentally want, but physically, I feel like it's just easier on my body. Like I don't have to sit there and try to have him nurse and you know worry about how much he's getting, and then after that, pump anyway. It just it just takes way too long. Um, I kind of feel like I always knew that I was going to be an exclusive pumper. Like even when I was pregnant, I made like. A nesting video and I was talking about all these bottles I was gonna try all these pumps I was gonna try like I kind of just knew but in my heart I wanted to just nurse even though like I'm making breast milk for him he's still getting my breast milk it's just easier but the way mom brain works we just worry about things that we really shouldn't make it harder on ourselves sometimes but you know what I just I'm at this point I'm like whatever <laughs> life just needs to get better and easier for me at this point What's really crazy guys, Mila is sleeping right now. She still goes through periods of times where it's like harder to put her down for a nap. So I'm like, all right, forget it. I guess she's just not going to want to nap anymore. And then I started calling it quiet time instead of nap time because she was saying no more naps, no more naps. But for instance, today 
and yesterday she's been waking up at like four something in the morning 4 45 5 in the morning like way too early and we put her to bed like 7 30 at night so i know she still needs to nap but i was like you know what i'm just not gonna fight it anymore and it was weird the past two days she's like mommy quiet time quiet time and I'm like, okay, you want quiet time? And just walked her in there and put her down and she went to sleep. I put her down around 9.30 and it's 12.17 right now. Pretty weird. <laughs> At some point I do wanna make sure my hair doesn't get frizzy. <laughs> I feel like, again, I talked about this in my last video. I'm like, I'm so sick of just looking, I don't know. Like, not that I look bad, but I feel like I just like let myself go. Not that I'm like trying to let myself go. It just kind of happens. So some days it's just like too hard to like get yourself to look good again after having, you know, at least for my instance, having two kids and waking up super early and just never feeling like I have a second to myself. But anyway, that's a goal. I want to try to just get the frizz out of my hair. Will that happen? I have no idea. I hate to even mention this right now, but I feel like my milk supply actually went up a little bit. I don't know if it's just because I'm hitting that closer to that three month range of postpartum where your body like knows the baby needs to eat more. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Or maybe I'm not feeling as stressed because I went to exclusively pumping. Another thing, I did switch over from my um, electric Medela pump where like I can like walk around back to my wall pump I just felt like it's a little bit stronger now don't get me wrong that pump the electric one that you can kind of just like walk around with is very strong for being an electric pump but I felt like I should just go back to the wall pump because if that's the main source I just want to make sure that you know everything is getting properly milked because if you don't properly empty your boobs when you're breastfeeding that creates low milk supply. This is the um, the pump and style advanced pump. <laughs> this was actually the pump that I used my entire breastfeeding journey for nine months of pumping with Mila. I don't know how long I'm gonna end up pumping this time. I ended up quitting earlier around nine months because um, I know I haven't really spoke about this, but I went through a ton of infertility, a ton of Clomid treatments, a ton of failed IUIs. I never got my period back after having Mila, long story short, but I thought at one point it was because of breastfeeding because it is true. Like you don't, some people get a period when they're breastfeeding, but um, I feel like I'm never going to be a person that gets a period when breastfeeding. But anyway, I don't even know why I still haven't gotten a period back. The only time I did get a period back was when I was taking the Clomid treatment. So I still have not had a natural cycle since conceiving Mila, but beyond that, I don't know if I'm gonna end up pumping a little bit longer because I wanna wait to start trying when he hits like way over a year because having more than one baby is like super, super hard. I don't know, I'm saying that now, could change my mind later. So we finally ended up moving into our addition I spoke about this and you know sporadically in a few vlogs that we were building this or Gino built this entire thing not me we originally our house has a two bedroom one bath and now with this addition it's a master addition we have another bathroom thank god and obviously it's like a whole nother room but now where Mila was staying is where Sebastian's entire room is going to be and where our old bedroom is is now Mila's room and the playroom so that's the tile that Gino built um we're still <laughs> we're still waiting to get glass pretty much this is what the bathroom looks like like i said he does that for a living he also like builds homes for a living uh does like flooring kitchens bathrooms literally everything but heating and air now he is all changed he is like getting so big i can't believe it I feel like he's got to be over 12 pounds already. I keep calling him like a Thanksgiving ham or like a Thanksgiving turkey because I feel like he's just getting so chunky. He just keeps like smiling at me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I mentioned in my last vlog about how the pediatrician appointment pretty much went to garbage. I'm still in the waiting process to have the HMO changed. I called, apparently it's changed and 
just waiting for stuff to come in the mail. Um, I'm just super thankful that from experience of having a baby, I know he's hitting all of his milestones. And right now, like on all like the baby apps, like saying like what he should be going through, he is going through. And I just know he's gaining a ton of weight, like a ton of weight because he is like growing out of like all this clothing. Like this is zero to three month. And I just got it like less than two weeks ago. And I feel like it's already starting to get tight on him. I just was putting away all of his newborn clothing. Part of me got sad but I was more sad at the fact that I have to buy more clothes. I feel like I should also go over how his sleep has been. He's definitely starting to get tired again. He's been up probably closer to two hours. So I still pump, but this is like, I have this sleep app called Auto Sleep and you have to wear your Apple Watch with it. Um, you can kind of see like each peak that you see is awaking, like that's when I pumped and that's when he fed. He is currently on a schedule. I do try to give him his bath every single night because I feel like that just sets him up for the night. I have to say this quickly. I'm like losing my train of thought like as we're speaking. I really need to get another cup of coffee because I've been up since 4.30, <laughs> but um, because of him. Bedtime's 8.30 and then usually I have to pop his binky in like a few times in between and then he's been eating by like 2 30. the other day he woke up at 6 but this time he woke up at like 4 30 and i had a pump so i don't know i don't know if that's making sense i feel like i'm still having wakings i still have to pump during the night um but yeah i feel like overall it is getting a little bit better now that we have this room set up we're gonna set up his crib and probably during the day i want to try to get him out of the snoo bassinet to get used to that which i'm very afraid of when we finally have to get rid of that but um i'll keep you guys posted on how he does in his crib but i do want to start introducing that pretty soon like i feel like pretty soon he's going to completely outgrow the snoo bassinet he's very um long like a song without a refrain it's how I feel without you I feel like now that he's um, gotten older too I don't really have to interfere too much with like his nap we're getting him to fall asleep he pretty much does fall asleep on his own now but then again he is in this the snow so I don't know if that's why he's always napping so good put Sebastian down. Mila did wake up. I still do have to like clean up from what I made lunch for myself, but I'm gonna just make her some lunch now and probably clean up a little bit. <laughs> Mila requested some cheese so far for her lunch. Definitely should get her a plate. <laughs> Mila, do you want an egg? No. No, just cheese? Yeah. Do you want a yogurt? Yeah. Yes? No? Mila, <laughs> you just want a plain piece of bread? <laughs> I was just about to, you know, put some peanut butter and jelly on that, but I just was like making my coffee. But is that what you want? You just want, want bread? Yes, okay. Hey. <laughs> Sebastian is good. That probably took about like five minutes to put him down. And again, I don't know if his napping is so well because I have a super easy baby. Like he is such an easy baby, I feel like. And I know like I still talk about how I have some pretty hard days with just like juggling between two. But overall, like compared to how when she was little, he is like literally so easy. Like, yes, he's still like a baby and they do like typical you know baby stuff i should say like that every single mom deals with i also don't know if he is just so good because i did decide to exclusively pump like pretty much from the beginning like he's been getting more bottles and because of the snoo bassinet like helping him sleep better because with her i didn't have the snoo bassinet and i also for the longest time 
did just feed her off of the boob like i was like so against the bottle for whatever reason she was like definitely having weight issues like i remember when she was four months old and this is like awful to think back at i mean the pediatrician didn't say anything was wrong with it but she was 11 pounds 11 pounds it was like 11 or 12 pounds at four months old like sebastian at exactly two months was 11 pounds so I don't know if that makes a difference because, you know, I learned from my mistakes or maybe he's just a super easy baby. Don't think you're doing anything wrong if you're like comparing like, oh, well, why is my baby not doing good naps or why is my baby just, you know, more fussy? I literally don't know. I think I just got super lucky with him. Come on, baby. I promise this will taste better like this, Mila. You want to try it like this, honey? No. Yummy. Okay. You like it? I like it. You like peanut butter though. Okay. No. Why don't you just try it, Papa? So guys, I feel like overall, um, my days, like I still really do have really rough days, really rough days inside my own head, you know, like mentally. I still am dealing with like a lot of gastro issues at the same time, which I am going to a doctor for. I have my first consultation next week, but then I don't know when I'll actually see the doctor. But besides that, I feel like if I didn't have all these gastro issues, which I've spoken about briefly before, everything's just all screwed up ever since the second I had Sebastian. But besides that, I do want to just say, I feel like I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Those first... I feel like the first three months of postpartum is just so, so hard. And I feel like the same thing, like when I was with her, it was just so, so hard. So if you are pregnant or you, you know, just have a little tiny newborn and you feel super overwhelmed and everything seems like super, super crazy, what? I'm telling you, time really does heal all in that department. This phase of your life doesn't last forever. And I keep telling myself that too on the days that are really hard because I feel like it's just never going to end. You know, every day feels like really overwhelming and I'm really super tired and I'm never gonna get to sleep again. And you know, your body's all weird still. But in all reality, that's not true. And I'm saying that from being a second time mom. And I can already see that I'm having better days. Sebastian's changing like crazy he's just you know everything is just going more in the better direction than it is bad i do show my bad days like my previous vlog when i was like just a complete mess but i do like to also show when i am having a better day like them both napping really good her giving me a three hour nap i worked out today i don't know if i'm gonna do my hair today but i don't care whatever i'm probably just gonna stay home but anyway just trying to always keep it real because i know i try to look for videos like this and see other moms especially i'm watching a lot of videos of moms that just had their second baby and it like makes me feel good when i see oh well they're going through that too so that's why i try to just keep it more real for you guys so you don't feel you know motherhood just could be a very lonely thing i think we're just gonna do tacos for dinner i have absolutely no idea it's already one o'clock and usually by this time I know what I'm gonna cook for dinner, but when in doubt, tacos are just super, super easy. So like I mentioned before, I'm like going through all of Sebastian's clothing over here and um, kind of just like picking apart like what fits him and what doesn't fit him anymore. I feel like all this like no longer fits him. I can't wait to actually have his nursery set up. Not that these clothing are gonna be here, but I feel like I just have like such a little space for everything right now. Kind of just like putting what no longer fits him like all on the bottom now. Probably gonna wake him up in just a little bit because I do have to pump I think in like 45 minutes where I might just like leave him for a little bit. It seems like he's still pretty tired so I'm just gonna like let him sleep. I'm like trying to get like so much laundry done right now while I have like a second. Okay um he's definitely starting to wake up so I'm just gonna end the vlog here before I just keep like rambling about like random stuff but I guess this is kind of just like an update on how everything has been going or how he really is 
Is he falling back asleep? I don't know. But anyway, it's kind of just like where things have been at. Um, I still can't believe he just like rolled like that today. That's like insane. Like literally, I had no idea. Like I caught that on camera. Like the first time you guys saw that is the first time I saw that too. So I think I'm gonna try to do an updated nighttime routine with him. Kind of just show you how our nights are going again. Um, let me know in the comments below if that is something you want to see and kind of like my pumping schedule too at the same time But um, I will see you guys in the next video